But uh, what does it do? Why is it better? Why do you need it? How do you set it up? That is what most people want to know. And uh, this will get rid of some of your fear, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set the timing and stuff on a, on a Haltech car here in a little bit, too. A B series, something that most of you guys have. Uh, super simple. So, hop this thing out of the box. This is the gear. All right. So, what you've got, I don't know if you guys can see that. See the little magnets stuck in there? So, what you've got is you've got 12 evenly spaced magnets that are facing in one direction and one. Facing the opposite. So what that does, you've got a dual pole sensor. Hey, that guy. Got a dual pole sensor, quality connectors. But what happens is, is as your engine turns over, I can't do this right. As that turns over, it goes across the magnet. And actually these sensors have LEDs made into them so you can make sure you're getting all the signals. But as it passes, the little LED lights up. Every time the LED lights up, the computer sees signal. It knows your engine position based off of this. So it's got trigger as well as home. And so this makes engine position very easy. I've never seen a magnet fail in one of these. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. I've seen them covered in little pieces of metal and still function perfectly. So these things are awesome. I only use the, I mean, like I would tune a car now on another brand. There's a couple guys doing it, but Steve is awesome. Steve's support is awesome. Steve's communication is awesome. Steve is awesome. And he sells these. We sell these. Link in the description. We sell these. Uh, if you buy our whole ECU kit type deal, we give you as a killer deal on them. We package it all up for you. Um, I'll tell you how to set it up. But today, um, we're actually going to include uh, a couple of screenshots of settings. They make this thing. showed you the sensor already. They make this thing on ten, two different bracket styles. They've got the... Uh, my favorite personally, but this guy bolts to like where the where the power steering would. Um, every now and then, there's a big, huge turbo in the way. So he also makes this guy. This guy is the under cam. This is what the D series looks like too. But this centers up on a bolt that goes to the front cover, like this actually. Um, so this thing's awesome as well. Um, I prefer the front of the head sensor if you're able to run it. We run it on most things. Uh, it would take like a custom made top mount with a huge Borg style compressor housing on it to touch. And even then most of the time I'll just grind the bolt heads off and use a really flush mounted bolt. And that works awesome. So those things are pretty simple. You understand how they work now. It's just gets into engine position in the easiest way. Um, everything is serviceable so that you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, distributor failures and things like that anymore. Uh, we're going to go to how to sync this thing up on the car and, uh, if you buy a computer, if you buy anything from us, or if you want to pay us for a basement, I'll go ahead and have this set up for you. When I go to tune the car, I still always stick a timing light on and shoot the timing. No matter what it did wrong, I still shoot it. And uh, yeah, that's let's go do that real quick. All right, guys. So what we're going to do here is we have a B-Series EM1 here on the dyno. Um, we are going to sync this guy up. It's got the same trigger setup on it, as you can see. The same trigger set up the gaps already set i believe the gap on this guy right here is uh i've got it set to 20 thousandths so o two o so we're gonna go in here real quick like a lot of stuff going on with this thing but uh, i've already got it connected it's got this car's got an s2 in it but i've already got it connected here we key on what we're gonna do is on our drop down menu over here we're gonna go down to ignition timing or ignition tuning sorry Turn the firing angle always on. Because the car's not, we're not going to start it. We're going to set the timing to zero. We're going to come up here in the fuel system. Disable the injectors. That way it doesn't spray any fuel. We're just trying to crank it over and take a timing light and watch it, basically. We're going to watch the, the pulley, whether it's an OEM one or whatever. We've got it locked to, and see how it stays there so you can't accidentally forget to disable it. But turn the injectors on so it will off so it won't start. And then hook a timing light up to this thing. Set, lock the timing to zero. And then we're going to crank the car over. And as we do it, actually, I'm not good at instructions, but go into trigger system here. We've already got our settings here. We're hall effect, hall effect, falling edge, enable the pull-ups. 
We got a generic multi-tooth, single-tooth home, which is what that thing is. It's multiple, multiple tooth on the crank with one magnet home. It's on the cam, 12 teeth. We're gonna, we've got a 491 angle. That's actually probably dead on, but you get the point. Uh, the rest of that's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. We're gonna get a light on it and check it real quick. We're back, we got light now. So let's check this thing out. Go ahead, Josh. Don't stop. Oh, okay. Josh messed up again. Crank it. <laughs> you guys see the line? All right. It's dead on right now, guys. What would be what it would look like if it wasn't dead on would be and and you know really in this situation if you hook up to a battery charger it's going to spin faster. It's a little easier to see, a little more consistent. But um, we're dead on currently, so let's say it wasn't dead on. You just go in there and make that number bigger or smaller until you hit everything dead nuts. Let's go ahead and do it one more time and check it on the crank down there just for fun. Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> Tough to see down there. Tough to see down there, but we are, we are dead on at 491 with this front bracket deal. So what we should be able to do is I'm going to lean right back. Nope, it's going to disconnect. Lay it down. I'll lean over you like, oh. We're going to go down here to ignition tuning. We're going to turn our lock off. And and normally, like, once I get it running, I'll actually usually resync it, like check it while with, with the timing light. But bam. Reset the ECU. All right, Josh, crank it over. Might take a second because... Had a little extra fuel in there. idling at 20 is where it's locked at so we're good to go we're ready to get this thing tuning